welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So, I feel like the t-shirt has to deal with Clem a bit differently because the man's a bad man. How are you just popping up on people like this? Like, you definitely must be tracking this woman. I don't understand what's going on here. You're just popping up on people again. Mm. What well, I've got on this mind crazy crew, let's talk about the Bell Collective. Now, we pick up with Letitia and Glenn where they were already in argument during the ad about him wanting to get his money. They went through the ad, you know, kept it professional. She put a smile on her, her face, has he, you know, directed her to. And they got through it. But I'm like, Letitia, you're going to have to really deal with your man because he is a lot. And that commercial was really bad acting, by the way. Yeah, I think they could definitely do with a little bit of um, tweaking. Anyway, we then see um, Aikisha and Willie. And I do like this couple. I know Willie's trying to get on Aikisha to kind of move back to New Jersey for a little bit while this Ferris Street project is on hold. But I do like them. I do want to see them on my screen. So I'm hoping that if they do go, it's only for a short period of time because I actually like them as a couple. But anyway, we, we hear her talk about how she manages his career basically and, you know, helps to keep him on track of what he's doing with his like, TV and radio work that he's got going on. He did crack me up, though. I think he's hilarious. He's there teasing her about the way she manages him. <laughs> and then um, also teases her about, you know, her wanting to get Chick-fil-A and um, staying off the waffle chips and all this stuff because, you know, she's talking about she feels a bit conscious because she's put on a bit of weight. But you, could tell, you can tell they've got a nice relationship going on with some banter in there as well, which is nice to see. So after that, we see Marie visit Essie. Now, when Marie popped up to go and see Essie why were they sitting on the sofa so far away from each other like that it made no sense to me I'm like what is with this big distance like this doesn't make no sense anyway now Essie is talking about how her parents suddenly passed away but they left her they left her with the property so she's thinking about moving back and then Marie shares that you know obviously she's gonna miss her she doesn't want to be too far away but also spoke about her mum being back on drugs and how she stole her mint coat and sold it for $30. Like, my gosh, now she's got to hide stuff. That is crazy. Um, I think it's good that she's t- talking about she's in therapy. I think that's good. And hopefully she can get her mum in therapy too. Latrice and Cliff, it was good to see Latrice back on the screen this week because we didn't see her last week. Now she's gone to go and check in her warehouse to find that her brother hasn't progressed much. Not surprising because a man specialises in trees, not on do- in doing this. But we know that she went to him when she was going for a rough patch with um, Cliff and she weren't really staying in the same room as him. So, you know, he just stepped up to help, I guess. But, you know, he is not the right man for the job. Um, as much as Cliff is very annoying, he does seem like he will get this done. And, you know, she likes that he's a fixer. She's talking about they're on good terms now. So that's all cool. But anyway, she was cracking out talking about she wants chandeliers in the warehouse. I'm like, chandeliers, girl. OK, honey, live your best life. She's hilarious. But I like seeing her on, on screen. Now, Marie and Aikisha's little link up had me cracking up because both of them are going at it. Like, Marie obviously is down with Letitia and she's saying that, you know, Basically, Aikisha stole her blueprint. Now, I can see where it looks like that because from my perspective watching the show, Letitia was one going on about Ferris Street and what she wants to do on Ferris Street. Now, I still said, and I said before, that I feel like they should have came together and worked on it rather than being so separate. But Aikisha has got links to Ferris Street too through her family, how she has shown on the show. So her family do have some links and ownership. or did they did have it before. So I can see why she wants to get in on it. And clearly she has got, you know, a lot of money so she can get in on it. Maria was basically just saying it was her vision, but Aikisha was definitely not having it and was saying there's no comparison. And, you know, um, they both didn't necessarily have the same roadblock. And she, you know, she was just definitely not necessarily having that. But I feel like that's because Aikisha sees it as her family had links to that. But I do feel like Aikisha could have been a little bit and tried to come together with Letitia because they had a, they've got a similar vision. So I don't understand why not work together in some sort of way. But anyway... Aikisha made it, made her point and was very shady talking about the teacher can't afford the blueprint that she has. <laughs> I was like, okay, but Maria was definitely sticking it, sticking to her point, which is as far as she's concerned, that's her bridging's blueprint. So Maria's, Maria's got her friends back in it, so I can understand that a bit, and I don't, don't understand why Aikisha wouldn't see that anyway because Aikisha must know that Maria and Letitia are very tight. Anyway. But yeah, I feel like Aikisha definitely stood her ground with Marie and Marie got to see that she can't just push around Aikisha, which I liked. I do like Aikisha, but like I said, I do feel like it'd be good if they could just come together and get on with it. She can do her businesses on there. I feel like Leticia can do hers as well and everyone can win. 
And a teacher being in her office and Glenn popping up on her, you know, it was interesting because I like the fact that she let him know that, you know, just because I'm your wife doesn't mean you can take advantage of me, yeah? She's trying to set clear boundaries, but you could tell that he wasn't really here for the boundary setting, which is why he kind of got, got up and kind of stormed off and all that kind of stuff. It, like she said, if he's going to be her client, then it's got to be a bad business and you can't expect her to be like acting like you're having wifey duties and blowing lines. Like, I like that she was definitely setting the boundaries there. Anyway, yes, he gets mad and, and walks off and we're not very surprised. This is Glenn, right? Now, so Gucci and Aikisha, I think um, we ain't really seen much of so Gucci, which I think is interesting because last season it was all about her and her mix up with Selena and all that kind of stuff. And now it's just gone very quiet on so Gucci's front. So we see her linking up with Aikisha because Aikisha trying to get healthy, as we know. They go to Zumba together. Um, you know, she's Aikisha sharing with her about she wants to go back to Jersey, you know, while the project's on hold, basically. Uh, so Gucci brings up the event. The lupus event that she's doing with Marie, and she's like, well, actually, it was Marie's event, and I'm just kind of getting in on it. And Marie ain't really doing nothing, so I'm thinking, yeah, that will be back with Marie in five, four, three, two, one. So we'll see how that goes when we they have that chat, because I'm sure that's coming. Now, the bit I want to get to really is Leticia and Marie linking up. You know, have to for the little girls catch up, and then you've got Glenn popping up on her again. Like, what the hell? Now, I find this really ridiculous. Clearly, he's got a check on her. We saw previously, if you watch the show from the start, you'll know that he definitely has a tracker on her because he popped up on them before when she was trying to get away or when she's thinking about getting her own place. Now, this man is definitely giving, like, stalker weirdo vibes. I don't like it. Like, what kind of madman moves are you on? Firstly, actually, she said that she, didn't, she hasn't spoken to him since he left her office and they had their little argument. Then she changed it and said that she spoke to him about four o'clock in the morning and he was saying he was going off back onto the boat. So, and he was basically saying bye. So I'm like, how have you said bye? And then you pop up on her, chat about you want to surprise her when she's actually out with Marie. You're talking about, oh, well, you're on another date with Marie. No, you're, you're, you're moving like a madman. You know, I have to agree with Marie on that one. That is some different type of moves. I don't understand that. And Marie said that, you know, you're moving like a, a psychopath. He was definitely not happy about that. And when she's asking him about, you know, so are you just insecure? How, how are you telling, you know, Marie that you're shocked to see her there? Uh, no, we're sh- everyone should be shocked to see you because you're supposed to be on the boat. The teacher just sitting there dumbfounded. She's just quiet. So I'm like, hmm, you seem like you're kind of embarrassed and shocked. But at the same time, you're like, you got me a little bit worried over there. I'm like, your reaction was really interesting. She kind of kept herself quite composed. But I feel like the teacher has to, has to sort that out because it's, it's not a good look. She did look a bit uncomfortable, embarrassed. All those emotions seemed like they were going through her because her mouth was just open and... It was just a madness because then you've got Marie and, and Glenn going back and forth as they usually do get into little spats. But Marie is trying to be a good friend to Leticia and pushing back on Glenn and his foolishness. But then she's not saying anything. So I don't really blame Marie for getting up and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving. You know what I mean? Like, going out my business. No, but honestly, with Glenn, like, when he popped up, I said, no, like, look at this madman. Or to quote from a movie, look upon this madman. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Because I said, why is he here? What is going on? And Glenn's got a damn cheek. How are you talking about the woman's like a hemorrhoid in your ass? And by the way, the person who is sitting behind Letitia was cracking me up because how is his... Look at his face. <laughs> the person behind had me cracking up. I was like, is it your business, sir? How are you just up in people's business? Your head is like... You're not even acting like you're trying to listen. You are square, just looking them dead in the face. Like... I'm in the business and I don't care. I'm listening. <laughs> I'll be cracking up. Anyway, I'm not surprised he's watching because it's a whole hot mess. Because why is this man popping up on his wife? She's not, look, not looking very happy. She's looking very shocked. As far as she's concerned, you're gone. She wants to have a drink. She wants to have a chill out time with her friend. Instead, you run off her friend because her friend can't take your foolishness. It's a hot madness. I just don't understand it. It's a mess. And I feel like... The teacher has to deal with that man because he's too much. I feel like she's outgrown him and he doesn't want to let her, you know, flourish. There's a bit of that going on. And maybe there's other things going on. I didn't like her body language. I didn't like the way she just kind of sat there and didn't really, like, show much emotion. It was very, yeah, like I said, she looked very uncomfortable and very embarrassed. Yeah, because Glenn is just very problematic. I just don't understand it. The teacher just, yeah, I feel like she's outgrown him. And they're going through their own growth pains and she's just not ready to necessarily let that go because she's, you know, they've been together for so long. But he needs to grow. He really does need to grow because, I mean, even at the husbands, like like, he, like I said before, Willie and JJ are my favourite husbands on the show. But as much as Cliff is annoying, at least he's, at least he's, um, he's useful because what is 
Glenn doing but giving Letitia a headache. Like, seriously. But anyway, what did you guys think of the show today? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.